Hey guys, so um, I'm still getting used to the whole talking to a camera, not to a person thing. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry if I'm super awkward. I figured out that my camera does record audio, I just had it turned off, so that's fixed. Um, I changed angles in which I'm filming, but I'm still filming on my bed, which is really awkward, and my cat's sitting right there, and I don't know. Anyway, I did this like rainbow eyeshadow work for you today. I guess my glasses are kind of covering it. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you want to find out how I did this rainbow thing on my face, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm uh, using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original and just getting that all over my eye. And then I'm using the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk to create a sticky base for all the colors that I'm going to be using today. After that, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 12P palette and use the super bright yellow eyeshadow in there. I've been on the hunt for a bright yellow eyeshadow that wasn't going to be all gross and nasty on my eye, and this one is actually exactly what I needed. Um, then I'm going to go in with the lime green color that's in there. Super pretty also. I'm just blending those so they gradate really well, and then I'm using that bright blue shade on the bottom row um, in the outer corner. After that, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and that bright purple eyeshadow that's in there and put that in the crease. I'm not blending it super amazingly, um, just enough that, you know, it's going to blend out with the red that I'm going to add. Just cleaning up some fallout right there, trying to decide what to do. And then I'm gonna go in with that red and put that on the crease as well. Just gonna blend that out a little bit more. And then going in with an orange. I'm also gonna mix a little bit of yellow on there. I probably do it off camera because I decided afterwards that I wanted to do that. adding a little bit more purple into the crease that got lost when I put that red in. And then we're going to highlight with the white shade that's in that palette as well. There's the yellow. Just wanted to give it a little bit more depth and texture with the yellow. Using a little bit of Jeffree Star's Ice Cold on the inner corner and the brow bone. It's here that I realized that doing eyeliner is really hard to do on camera. Um, it's kind of messed up, I end up fixing it off camera, but you know, it's my first time doing eyeliner on camera, you can't fault me guys. start getting really grumpy and rolling my eyes a lot, so I apologize. Usually I'm way better at eyeliner than this, but I don't know. I guess I'll get the hang of it eventually.
Honestly, I don't know how to help professional uh, makeup artists do this on YouTube because it's really hard. Alright, now I'm going to go and start on my face, starting with the Becca um, Skin Perfector as my primer. Then I'm going to go in with my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in Gobi doing the mom dots on my face before I blend it all in with my beauty blender. So I'm filming this whole thing on my bed, um, and for the most part I'm just using my viewfinder to do all of this, but every once in a while I glance down at my mirror to do it. Um, again, I really have no idea how professional YouTubers do this, because I don't have enough room for a normal desk in my room. So I have to do this all, like, however I can, in the daylight with a window because I don't have lighting or anything, and I'm using a box and a tripod, so, you know. Alright, here I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Concealer in light, or no, it's Y23. I'm pretty sure it's Y23. And then using that down the tip of my nose, under my eyes, I did a little bit on my lips and my chin, just where I get the most red. Blending that out with my Beauty Blender once again. And setting it all with my Kat Von D setting powder and translucent. I personally find that this powder doesn't work great for me because I have really dry skin and I don't know, I just, I have the problem with the creasing under my eyes, and normally I wouldn't set it at all, but it's the only way I can get it to stay under my eyes. So, if you guys have any suggestions on that, just let me know, because it's really annoying. Then I lost something. Don't know what I lost. Now I'm going in with my cover effects. Um, what are they called? The effect drops or whatever in Celestial. I'm using my NYX Duochrome Highlighter on top of that. Super pretty. Really like it. Got that one for my birthday. Can't wait to use it on more stuff. Using that party blush from Tarte that I got for my birthday from Sephora. Maybe used a little too much, but you know, nobody's perfect, guys. Contouring with my NYX Contour Palette. It's the lighter contour shade in there. And then going in with um, Benefit Hula to bronze my face up a little bit since I'm pale as hell because it's winter out right now. Going back to my eyes, I'm going to go in with the um, blue and the purple mixed together. I realized here because I set my under eye with powder, it really wasn't blending properly. Um, so I go in and fix it a little bit off camera. I do a lot of off camera fixing because, you know, I need an actual mirror to do that rather than my viewfinder. Um, but yeah, just doing my best to blend it in. Tried to use a little bit of pink on the inner corner, but it just was not sticking on there for me. Using my uh, mascara there. Um, I think I'm using the Estee Lauder one my grandma got me a couple years ago that I almost never use. And then going in with my um, Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. Again, another thing that's really hard to do in a viewfinder. I think I end up grabbing a compact or something to try to get that sorted out.
And now for lips, I'm using Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Posh Spice. And I'm gonna say it again because it's so true, doing your lips in a viewfinder is really, really difficult. One of these days I'll have the space to actually do this without, you know, getting real frustrated, but... And this is what it looks like at the end. I hope you guys like it, and um, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share and do all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you again soon. Bye! You see what I have to deal with? See what I have to deal with? What are you doing there?